first chance to ever introduce these. Right. The hot dog has gotten a bad rap. Yeah. Because hot dogs are usually the leftovers of whatever meat is out there, and you never know what's really, really in it. Right. With Kansas City steaks, because we're talking about the finest steak that America can make, these are Kansas City all beef hot dogs. Oh, by the way, nice that hot simple. dog is twice the size of a store-bought little weenie. Yes. The flavor is deep and rich and wonderful. And the way you, you put the skins on these, they pop, they yep. snap. The it is scenes. absolutely yeah. the finest dog you'll ever have. Thank you. That summer. <laughs> that summer. That summer. I know. It just it makes you remember the first time you had a hot dog. Oh. And you know, you said all beef, right? I mean, get in here for a second as you're eating. Look at that. It's the color of beef, mm -hmm. as it should be, right? So, you know, we were just mm. talking about strip steaks before. We put all our classic steaks into the dog. There is ribeye in here, filet, tenderloin, and just a little paprika and garlic. I mean, it speaks for itself, Dan, right? I mean, it's... I beef. will also say this. Uh, I had avoided eating a lot of store-bought hot dogs because I'm, I'm a cardiac patient and I'm really concerned about salt. Right. When you bite into this, you taste beef. You don't taste salt. That's right. The seasoning on it is is almost minimal. It is absolutely the best hot dog you'll ever taste. Now, before you start complaining, <laughs> just hear me out on something. When we're talking about $35 for hot dogs and you're gonna get a dozen of them, that's, that's less than three bucks a dog. So we're not talking about an exorbitant price. You buy the, the bigger pack, and the bigger pack is going to bring to you 36 That saves you $16. Right. Admittedly, you're going to pay a couple bucks more than you would for a store-bought you know, grocery store weenie. Right. But the flavor, you cannot even believe what the difference is on this hot dog as compared to the store-bought. And yeah. this will become quickly your favorite summer fair. I, I totally agree with this. I mean, I have barbecues all the time and I have these hot dogs at the barbecue and people are like, oh my gosh, what is this? I go, it's a hot dog. I know it's not, I go, it's a hot dog. And because it's 3.2 ounces, yeah. twice the size of a normal hot dog, we could do things like this. Check this out, Dan. Little cheese, look at that. There's, oh. I split that in half, okay? I put some chili and then bacon on top of there. And all we're gonna do is go in, I'm gonna put that one down, wanna try this one? Oh, all right. Just, I mean, it might as well just. What do I, what do I, uh, put her, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll just I'll put toss it. So I tell you, and I split this in half and I put it back on the grill, Dan. Okay. So now it caramelized even more and warmed throughout those ingredients. So check that out. Uh, I think you'll have fun with that one. By the way, he also loves to hand me things that are 700 degrees because <laughs> oh, <laughs> he knows I will eat them. Uh, you're, yeah, see, this guy knows how to eat hot dog. <laughs> right. So well, beef right complements, I mean, it's, it's a beef hot dog. It's like oh. the steak we were talking about. It can hold up to any condiment. That's the big deal. It's the texture that I like so much. Yeah, it's, it's not mysterious no. at all. By the way, uh, you, you will not be disappointed. Listen, we give a 30 minute money back guarantee on everything that we sell. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been doing Kansas City steaks for 20 some odd years here at QVC. This is the best hot dog I had ever tasted. And, and I'm a hot dog fan. I'm a Midwestern, grew up in Indiana, hot yep. dog. You're a Chicago guy, so you put yep. cucumbers. Yeah, so let's make a cucumbers Chicago dog. On, he's gonna make a Chicago dog? No, Chicago, right while you're eating. Uh, uh, while so, I'm eating. Chicago <laughs> dog, a little cucumber, a little hot pepper, um, a little tomato. So basically it's like a salad on top of a dog and then just mustard, which I know you don't yep. like mustard, but that, and the secret ingredient, Dan, you ready for this? What? Chef tip, hot dog chef tip, celery salt. It just literally oh. makes that hot dog pop. Look at that. I'm You're gonna the best. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Hey, you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that out. Check that out. Okay. A little celery salt on it. I'll be darned. Is that cool? Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, you, like three or four bucks at the grocery store, a little celery salt you could put on your hot dog. But people are like, it's crazy. You and I are in the meat business. Yes. Right. This guy's a restaurant tour, mm -hmm. fabulous chef. I'm a farmer. Mm. I raised Black Angus cattle for 15 years. You and I both know the cost of beef is going up. Yep. And it's not going up someday. It's going up soon. 
We have an auto delivery program with the folks at Kansas City Steak. Sauerkraut and mustard. Oh yeah. That's so oh, good. Oh, I said, and bacon. We can, we can lock this price in, $89, and that's going to bring you 36 of the best hot dogs. If you want to go with the 12-pack, then feel free to go with the 12-pack. But keep in mind, you go with a bigger quantity, you save an additional 16 bucks. Yes, you're going to pay a little bit more. I got no qualms with that whatsoever. But what's a pack of hot dogs go for in a grocery store nowadays? I, These are going to break down to less than three bucks a dog but this is gonna be the best hot dog you ever had. We know steaks are restaurant quality. Right. Why does a hot dog have to be second rate? So the best of the best now being brought to us. I like the idea of the celery salt. You like that? Is that uh -huh. cool? And Dan was saying earlier about store-bought hot dogs. This is a store-bought hot dog. This is a Kansas City steak hot dog. This pretty much looks like it ate this. Not just the size, but look at the, the color difference, mm -hmm. Dan. This is the color of beef, it's red. This, we have no idea. Isn't that cool? So again, that's why there's only four here and like eight here. This is double the amount of hot dogs that you have here. And you can do more with them. Yeah, look what I what just did. What it does is it finally gave hot dogs an opportunity to be elevated to a first class meal. Yeah, I mean, I, I split them down the center. Put a little cheese, a little onion. You just go in, how about a little bacon jam we've been selling on uh, QVC here? little bacon jam, and then put them back on the grill. And also something I've been doing, it just kind of struck me, for example, mm -hmm. is on your grill or wherever you're at, put your buns on top of the hot dogs for two reasons. One, you get a, you like a steamed bun, right? Nice right. moist bun. And then you get that flavor of the hot dog that kind of just permeates right through the hot dog. I'm so happy so right So that's a little tip. Yeah, is that fun? Mm. Look at that dog. Look at that split dog. You want to split one? Yeah. Let's create one. Let's create Okay. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Let's so do I'm a damn dog. Okay. All right, you know what's in front of you, so you tell me what you want to put inside. All right. Okay. We're going to go with a little bit of the chili. All right, the chili. Okay, go. and, and okay. this is my homage to you, my friend, my Chicago friend. All right. Try this. You, I thought it was crazy. Cucumber. Okay. In a hot dog. Got it. And then a little bit of... Well, spicy mayo? Yeah, let's go with the spicy mayo. Spicy mayo. And we'll go with that. Okay. How long does it take to cook them on the grill, bud? Well, uh, what I like to do is actually boil them for like four or five minutes, get those internal juices popping, right. and then get a screeching hot grill, throw them on the grill, and you'll get that caramelization that we're getting right here. Very simple. And we're going to put your dog back on there. Mm -hmm. So I would say like four or five minutes on each side, but everyone likes their dogs differently. Like, for example, I like my dog like that. Okay. Okay, I like it nice and charred like that. Where some people just like a little, they want to heat it through, and they just want to, you know, kind of the color it is. What do you think? You'll then? recognize it as a hot dog. What you won't recognize is it isn't that store-bought factory flavor of the mystery meat that most hot dogs are. Yeah. Hot dogs are usually made of scraps. Mm -hmm. It's the part of the, the animal that otherwise could not be consumable. With Kansas City hot dogs, it's the trimmings of your best steaks. That's, you said it best. And then they do a wonderful process of, of putting it through a sausage casing. And I, the spices are perfect. Yeah. They're not, so many times a store-bought hot dog has yeah. too many spices in it because it's making up yeah. for an inferior meat. They're masking the flavor. Yes. Uh, but with this is, you know, no MSG. And again, you're not mm. grabbing like gallons of water after you had a hot dog. I know that's what happens all the time. They're good, but they're salty. These are not salty whatsoever. Um, real quick, I'm happy. Can you taste one without anything on it? I know I'm kind of I'm killing you over this. Mm. Okay. What's the type of feeling I like. I just I always like to play the word game. So first word that comes out of your mouth mm. after you've had this. All right, ready? To me, first is texture. Texture? Because you notice that before your taste buds. Okay. Then you get a savoriness that is meat. Yeah. Meat. Meat. And there's those wonderful spices. Cool. Yeah. Couldn't have said mm. it better myself. I'm glad you like it. Some days at work are really, really good. You, my friend, Ralph. Yes. You, you're like a superhero of meat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. There's your dog. Oh, there's yeah. the Dan dog. The Dan dog. We'll try that. Oh, I think you know what? You got. I think a just little a little bit of ketchup. Little ketchup. Little cucumber. Look at that. Little That's hot the Dan mayo, dog. A little chili. The Dan dog. Wipe my hands on the pants. Yep. There you go, my I, friend. I, 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 I don't want to do that to you. Sorry. Hey, 12 dogs under three bucks a day.